All righty, it is Sunday, March 11th, 2014, Mother's Day, and this is Nancy Hay. This is regarding Sabrina, our daughter. This is the invasion of the baby snatchers. Everybody gets airplay in YouTube. <laughs> okay, here, ma'am. Where's my here? It, 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 where's my motherhood.com? Mothers of lost children .org. Thank you. Okay, hi there. Everyone gets a photo op today. Mothers of lost children and and Porter and and what's that? And supporter. Okay, all right. Four billion a year for child support enforcement fuels custody wars. Abusive deadbeat dads go for custody and child support. Okay. Next one. The hottest places in hell are reserved for those who, in terms times of great moral crisis, maintain their neutrality. And this is by a gentleman named Dante. Alighieria Inferno. Okay, that's a famous author. Now, in the past 20 years, judges gave a million children to batterers and molesters. Next one, Inter-American Commission on Human Rights says USA violates human rights of battered mothers and children. Now, hi there, Kathy. I'm getting this on. Yeah, Mr. President and First Lady. 50. Yeah. What? Okay, right, right, right. Mr. President and First Lady, 58,000 children per year are ordered by U.S. family courts to live with batterers and sexual molesters. Their safe mothers are powerless to protect them. Stop these violations of human rights. The next one. How can these child children have a dream? They're living in a nightmare. The judge gave me to my father. I grew up in a prisoner of war camp. Um, and co-author of the book, Hostage Child. My co-author, Lior Rosen, is gonna bring the book out again, updated soon. Um, but this is for an update, and the update is my opinion. I'm just giving you my, my reaction. Two days ago, at the conference, advising an advocate on how they... Hi there, ma'am. Okay. Justice for Elsa Newman.com. Okay. And this one. Okay, good. I'll zoom in this. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. If there's a problem in the government, I'll fix it. Barack Obama. Judges give children to rapist killers. That's a problem. Okay. It'll run you over like a tank. This is about making sure that mothers cannot maintain power over their children and over their families in the face of someone who wants, who has a higher position and a hierarchy, who wants to take their power away. That's what it's about. So when you have children, you automatically are vested with the power to raise them, the power to love them and bring them up and take care of them, and the responsibility to do that. But if someone wants to take that from you, and it can be the father, most often it is the father, or it can be the state, there can be many ways for this to happen. <coughs> this is not a fair fight. So don't look upon it as them not having enough information. They have all the information they 
need. What they are doing is what they want to do and intend to do. And they're doing it well. When we tell them, oh, you're making a big mistake, they'll listen. But they won't correct it because to them it's not a mistake. To them it's a success story. And everyone here <coughs> who has lost children because of this, you know that there's damage done to the child, to you, to the society. There's damage done economically. You lose your jobs, you can't function appropriately. This and that happens. There's all kinds of fallout, all of it objectively bad. But what they've done is what they've intended to do. So to them, no amount of, quote, bad outcomes proves anything other than your complaining. And your complaining was what happened at the beginning to make you the enemy. <coughs> if you read The Art of War, you see something that really affected me because I, didn't, I, I never trained for war. You know, I, I say I'm an old soldier. I trained while it was happening. I was in the trenches before I knew I was in a war. I trusted and I thought things were going well and I had to go bring information. I had to go prove things. I had to hire experts. I had to hire lawyers. I had to work within the system. I had to do everything right. I had to not make a misstep. None of that matters. The art of war says, defeat your enemy before he knows you're the enemy.